Hey guys, it's John, and welcome to my playthrough of The Dolls. This is a new indie horror game on Steam, just came out today, and it looks to be a Five Nights at Freddy's style game. Just a forewarning if you're not into that, or if you are, um, I'm gonna give it a shot. Let's start a new game. This was developed by Hush Interactive, who have no other games on Steam from what I can tell, and was published by Forever Entertainment. Skip the tutorial. No. How to play. Stay face. Stay face. That is some solid advice, man. Use the lights to detect anything that's hidden. Protect yourself by closing doors to avoid intruders. View the cameras to keep an eye out for anything. Stay face. Alright then. Power usage. Uh, using the lights or cameras, even the doors can drain power, which will leave you defenses which will leave you defenses against anything. I think they meant defenseless there. You must plan ahead and think smart to make it through. The clock. Each shift has a set time, which you must complete in order to survive. With each passing night, the game becomes harder and faster with new encounters and challenges. So basically, Five Nights at Freddy's. Got it. Ooh. Man, I played so many games recently with this, like, VHS static. I'm not sure what else to call it. The dolls. Hey man, I'm excited. There haven't been any like horror games that I've played recently that have featured dolls. So, you know, at least not prominently. Heart and soul toys. More jobs for local town. Family business closed for 50 years. Will it last? Why close? White lies? Worth it? With the style changing, will the new toy line survive? The new limited edition rocker doll is sure to spin heads! Ba -ba -ba -ba. <laughs> That's pretty good, man. Help wanted night guard, $30 an hour. Okay, so... It's like the exact same story, basically, also, as uh, Five Minutes at Freddy's. Night one, training shift, three hours. Alright, well, training shift, huh? Let's get down to business. I'm really getting a phone call right now? Oh my god! Where are we? Hey, newbie, just rang to say good luck on your first day. Should be easy work. It's just the training shift, which is three hours on your first day. So, as you can see, the factory is small, and of course, being a family owned business, the workload isn't too bad. Oh, the factory's small, so huh? Don't sleep on me. <laughs> At this what? stage, the power's a little iffy due to the fact that we haven't upgraded our power grid to handle the new machines, but. Oh, hello there. Hey. So be smart when turning on all the lights and activating the cameras, eh? Place is a mess at the moment, but we should have it all under control by the end of the week. The fumes coming in from the machines get to you, feel free to shut the door. But keep in mind, it may drain the power. I'll, anyway, I'll keep that in keep mind. To work. Talk to you in the morning. What the? Why, 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 why was that? Zer. Was that just signaling his departure? And uh, where in the vast vacuum of time and space are we where time passes this quickly? This is... This, this is... This is Five Nights at Freddy's, just with dolls. Oh no, they're right outside. Close the door. Oh dude, he's right there, I think. I think they're right outside. Let's just shut the doors, man! Hell, we're here till 3 a.m.? It's already like 1.30, dude. Holy crap, man. What? They're still there! What is happening, man? Okay, monkey, monkey man is there to say hello. Dude, I can't even see anything right there. Oh wow, I'm using all three right now, so the power is going down really fast. <laughs> Wouldn't it be funny if I failed night one? What is going on? Oh, that's right, you left. That's right. All right, maybe we don't have to have these shut like this. We can just look. Who is screaming? 
in this gigantic factory, man. What is that sound? <laughs> what is the sound? Zoom. Somebody, somebody moving around the vents? Hey, I passed. Achievement unlocked. Alive at training end. <laughs> Night one complete, guys. I feel very accomplished. All right, this next shift is five hours, guys. Yeah, go ahead. Come on. I know you're just going to talk at me. Hello. Sorry I didn't get a hold of you this morning. Apology not accepted. I've been really busy today. I guess some of the toys got broken overnight. Oh, I no. I say this because it's broken. If you know anything about this, give us a call. But besides that, all seems to be in good shape. I knew I had a good feeling about you. So, yeah, I'll check in later and make sure it's all okay. Take care. Uh, please do. Okay, so... Trying to figure out, like, is there anything more? He didn't really tell me anything. What are all these audio cues? What do you want from me? Babies? Leave me alone, babies. Oh no, they're here. <laughs> Quite the acrobat out there. Oh, I can see him. I can see his, his little baby belly outside the window right there. He's not doing anything, though. You're not getting in here. What do you think this is, huh? Oh no. He figured out my strategy and he shifted. Well, it's almost five o'clock now, so I can probably just sit here. I might as well just close the door. Why not? What's gonna happen? 19%, 18. Eh, maybe we should leave it open. What's the worst that could happen? I made it past night two, guys, and nothing happened. I'm not sure I understand the mechanics of this game. Um, it, it seems really easy so far. Night three, round two, five hours. Like, there's all, there's all these audio cues happening, and I'm not sure I understand it. If they signify anything, it, it's over my hey, head. Man, glad things are going well. I noticed some of the cameras are a little glitchy, but I'll have someone look into that soon. We had a big order come in today, so there may be power outages tonight. So keep an eye out for anything. A power we outages? Today shift about making sure the shipments are put away right, as we keep finding dolls on the floor. It's hard to find good help these days, huh? <laughs> anyway, take care and I'll talk soon. Yeah, man. We'll definitely talk soon, because I'm definitely going to live through the night, right? Right? Night three, guys. We've made it. And we have 96% left at like 12.30, which is nice. What? What does that sound mean? Does it mean anything? Is it just, is it like the passing of time? Like it's one o'clock now, or? Kind of weird that they just, you know, do like a dern after every hour. I mean, I'm employing the tried and true Five Nights at Freddy's strategy here. Hmm, I don't see him anywhere. I mean, th this is really all you need to do. I don't really see a need to check the cameras. I meant to turn that off. I mean, I might be wrong, but... Oh no, guys, there he is. Baby's here. Baby came to check on me, and now Baby's gone. Is that just supposed to like trick me into shutting the door? It's already two o'clock. I mean, this is all I need to do, right?
Um. Uh, it, I don't know. I mean, I've played a lot of Survive the Night games. Like, you know, Emily wants to play. Emily wants to play Wick. Um, Sophie's Curse. If you could even count that. And, um... I'm just gonna shut that whenever I hear that noise, because I don't know what it means. What happened? I don't know what happened. There wasn't even, like, a... I don't know. Um... And, like... It, I think it's a fun genre, it's just... It's very reliant on proper mechanics. Anyway, um... It's, as I was saying, these Survive the Night games like this are very reliant on proper mechanics that are properly explained and that are well balanced. Uh, for example, I think Emily Wants to Play does it fairly well. Like, everything kind of melds together the way it should, you know? It's like you've got one character that like you need to stand still for, one that you need to run from, one that you need to look at, etc., etc. And it's a very balanced um, game mechanic-wise. Something like this, like I just, if there are additional mechanics be besides like close the door if they're there, turn on the light to see them, then I don't know what they are. Oh no, guys. They're there. They're after me. Bebe's here! He's still there, still hanging from the ceiling. The acrobat that he is. Like, I, I don't understand why I died last time. To be honest. And I think that that's a problem, because like... I know that they have a phone guy, he's still there. I know they have a phone guy, but he's not really telling me anything about how to play. He's just kind of letting me wing it. Just like, wow, he's still there. What the hell? Come on, baby. Leave me alone. 69%. It's gone now. It looks like uh, it's coming to an end here with this climax music. Um... Hmm... Night four, I guess? For the money. Six hours, guys. Uh-oh. Let's see if there's any new information that phone guy gives us this time. the mechanic to come in and he said the cameras seem okay and no issues. I guess it was just a one-time thing. Good. Just thought I'd let you know. See ya. Okay, so let me just point out something real quick. The way that Scott Cawthon uses the phone guy in Five Nights at Freddy's, in the original Five Nights at Freddy's, and in the sequels that follow, is generally to introduce new mechanics that differentiate each night besides just like, the enemies are faster, you know? Like, uh, I think it's on night two or maybe night three. He kind of tells you about Foxy and how he works. Um, with this, we're not really getting any information out of Phone Guy. Not really giving us anything. And if you're gonna have a survive the night game like this, there needs to be some sort of progression of mechanics. Cause right now I'm still clueless as to how this game actually works. I seem to be surviving just fine, doing my traditional Five Nights at Freddy's strategy. Which, you know, fine by me, but uh, I paid 10 bucks for this game and I'd like to have a different experience from Five Nights at Freddy's. And not just, you know, Five Nights at Dolls. And to be honest, this is a little bit tedious. Hitting the lights and the door every once in a while. I mean, 
the whole fun of the game is looking at the cameras, but there's absolutely no reason to look at the cameras. And I think this is where a lot of the Survive the Night games fail, that try to replicate Five Nights at Freddy's success. Because, like, they have cameras, but a lot of times it's like, well, why would you ever look at them? It's like that game uh, Nanny Nights that I played a long time ago. One of the first... One of the first uh, FNAF um, games I saw for purchase on Steam. And it was one of those things where it was like, you don't, you don't have to look at the cameras. <laughs> From what I remember. Oh no, baby! Acrobat baby is here. We'll just leave him, we'll leave him out there for a little bit. I don't know, I just... There needs to be innovation, and there needs to be... Something that differentiates this from Five Nights at Freddy's, because... This is kind of reading like a fan game right now, like something I would find on Game Jolt. And, um, I mean there are some really good, actually... Um, FNAF fan games on Game Jolt, like One Night at Flumpty's, or One Week at Flumpty's, even better, by the way, the, the sequel. This so far... I closed them, just cause, that's 3 o'clock, we're halfway there, and I have 74% power. Like... I don't know. I'm not really sure what this, uh... Jackhammer sound is. I guess I close the door, whatever. I don't, I'm like looking for mechanics that aren't there, I'm pretty sure. So like, this game, another problem with this game is that it's using just random audio cues that don't mean anything. Did something just flash in? Something might have just flashed in. I thought I saw something there. Nope. Um, and, and the whole thing about like, Five Nights at Freddy's is that each audio cue meant something, generally. It meant that like, you know... I think I let him in just now. Because I think I turned off the light and uh, I think they disappeared. I could be wrong, though. We're coming up on 5 o'clock. But... See, I, I think I know why that happened. I think I let one in just now, but I'm not sure. It's, it's very unclear. I don't know. Um, I think that's about it for me, though. Uh, it doesn't really seem like a game that's as deep as it should be. And, uh, by the way, how do I quit to the main menu? Do I just... Oh, okay. I didn't know if that was, like, exit game or if that was just quit. Uh, yeah, this needs to have more to it than just, like, literally a carbon copy of Five Nights at Freddy's, but minus all of the nuance? There's no reason that I can find, at least, to check the cameras in this game, and if there is a reason to check the cameras in this game, it is poorly explained, aka not at all, from what I can tell. Uh, it seems like just a game where you turn on the lights, if there's a doll there, you shut the door, if there's not, you keep going. They're very, very lenient with the power, from what I can tell. Um, I was playing really sloppy towards the end just because I had power to spare. And uh, I did die at the end of night four, but that's just the second time I've died. It doesn't seem like a proper difficulty curve. And uh, yeah, I, I mean, I just, I can't say I recommend it. I'm sorry. But there just, there needs to be more to it. It's just, it's way too similar, but without, without all the stuff that made Finance of Freddy's a good game, in my opinion. Yeah, it need, needs a lot of work, in my opinion. We'll see you guys later. Think critically.